Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm joined by Matt and Grave, and we're here to talk about Tarkov PVE mode after about three or four weeks of playing it. And we played it quite extensively and we have some notes here. We're gonna go over the positives and negatives of this game mode and give you a full review. We're in the mid thirties, we're playing hardcore. So we're not able to progress quite as fast if we just played the actual game. But we're going to get into that. If you guys enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. It takes us a long time to make these videos. Let's get into it. So this take on PvE Tarkov is going to be a bit controversial because there are positives and negatives to it. And we'll go over both. But stick to the end of the video so that you get the full perspective. Um, Matt and I are more hardcore players and we do grind out several hours each day. Our friend Grave though, it has only so much time a week to play and he's really enjoying the mode because he can only play three or four hours each week. So the first thing we're gonna delve into here is the positives. First positive obviously being there's no cheaters. What we have found is since there's not other vacuum hackers or other PMCs on the map, loot is quite abundant. You can find LEDXs way quicker. It took me 17 runs last wipe to get an LEDX, it was painful. The next positive is gonna be that there is persistent progression. So this is very friendly for players that don't like to grind and that don't have a lot of time to play a wipe and they're not gonna get as behind and they're gonna be able to save their progression. So I think that that's huge. It is way more laid back of a game. There is no exfil camping. Um, the PMCs kind of generally are in certain locations. You kind of figure that out so you know when you're safe. Uh, that could be viewed as a negative as well. And you could play with your friends and get more friends involved in the game that could play casually. Um, so that is a better experience for me, at least because I can get more people involved that I know in real life. I don't have to meet some rando on the internet and get shot by him. The negatives are gonna be the price obviously is $250 for newer players. Now that will change, it will come out standalone. But as of right now, Matt, me and Grave had to pay $100 on top of $150 to get the EOD edition. So obviously that's a major negative. This channel does not support the monetization policy of ESG in regards to this, what we consider a DLC. Potentially, there's more cheaters now with PvP. We don't really know. We haven't been playing PvP whatsoever, and we've been completely fine with that because now I just, we just feel like we're chilling and progressing through the game, and there's no wipe, so we're just grinding on tar hardcore PvE Tarkov right now. Now, this might reduce the cheaters because there's less money to be had, because there's less of a player base in PvE we don't really know or i'm sorry there's less of a player base in pvp we don't really know um the other problem with the pve tarkov is the pmcs are pretty cracked out so you probably have a few seconds to peek and then you're gonna get started you're gonna get nailed by pretty decent rounds uh occasionally they'll have bp rounds the AI PMCs, and you can go down very quickly. Another negative is gonna be the PMC spawns are fixed. So there are areas of the map that you could just run around freely and you're pretty safe and you could just chill. So that eliminates that kind of like fear of getting exfil camped and things like that. PMCs don't loot a lot. And so when you kill them, it's mainly you're looking for their gun, their gun attachments and their armor. They usually have grenades, but they don't seem to have picked up a lot of loot. That's kind of nice for PVP Tarkov because you could kill a PMC and then they picked up like a quarter of the map's good loot. And that's, that's kind of nice sometimes. Um, the match times are shorter now. So they're at least like 10 minutes shorter for each map. So you do feel a little rushed. So that could be viewed as a negative or a positive. So you really got to get in and get out. And if you get held up, like you're not going to be able to accomplish as much as what you set out to do. And the last negative is going to be the loading times. There was a loading bug where you'd have to back out and then back in and you'd load in about a minute and a half. 
but total it would take you like four and a half minutes which is really annoying because it's just a pve game we should just load in 10 seconds or something uh what we've noticed now is less of the bug but during peak hours the loading times can be up to six minutes which we find is kind of ridiculous. Um, so that's going to be it for the negatives and the positives. Let's hear Matt's review. Yeah, all in all, I've played Tarkov for about three years now and uh, put quite a few hours in the standard PvP mode that's always been around. Um, but I'm really enjoying my time on the PvE. Uh, it, it's, it is more laid back. We're, we did it as a hardcore run to where we can't buy anything from the vendors and so that makes it so when you do get killed um it hurts a little bit more and spices things up i feel like it would be a little bit easy if we played the regular game mode but that's just us having played tarkov for multiple years so it's it's a great training ground for people that have never touched tarkov at least learn the maps and to work their way through the quests and progress through the quests without having to do the offline raids where you make no progress um whether you complete the quest or not it's not completed when you get back from the regular offline practice mode um I, I think it lays a good foundation to implement the mods that have been on single player tarkov unofficially for years because um, a lot of our, our negatives that we had for it since it just came out if they implemented the different mods out there that make it so the pmcs move across the map and loot and just add additional spawns so there aren't any real safe spots it's not too bad on some maps but like woods where it's big and open get a if you're not in one of the the main hot spots you have a, a sense of safety that's not there in a regular pvp mode but all in all i think it's a it's a good addition to the game and it lays the foundation to officially integrate the, the mods that are well done and it, it's an easy way to do it because i'm sure they're coded exactly the same so if bsg likes it they can do whatever it takes to get the mod put into the game so i think it's a good thing i'm having a blast 10 out of 10 i do it again next let's hear from our more casual friend grave all right so this is probably my third wipe i'm gonna say third wipe on in the game um didn't really get to progress much because still learning not much time on the game hooking up with a good crew you know you still get to learn but it's still the time you know the time that you have to put into the game and then have to worry about the game's gonna wipe by then putting out the pve mode i feel that it's much better because even if your guys you're running with are progressing and they're going up levels you are lower level but they can help you get through your levels um i feel that them by them putting this out was a great help to people like us like me that enjoy the game that love the game um but don't really have the time me spending the money that i spent on a computer just just to play this game to fall in love with this game but started getting aggravated that every time i'm playing i feel like i'm not progressing i'm learning i'm not progressing because i can't put that much time in now i feel with the pve mode that i have that capability of doing that also the factor of there's no cheaters um the time the time in raid is shortened which is not liked and then I, I feel the same as Matt, that the, the loading time should be shortened up a little bit. It just should be. But uh, all, all in all, do I feel that I should have been charged $100 for it? No, I shouldn't. But I support it. I support it. I, I support the game. I paid the $100 just like ESG and Matt did for that edition to have it. And would I take it back? No. I gave my $100 because I enjoyed the game. I love playing the game and I would never take it back in a million years. How do I feel about it? How do I feel about the PvE? I mean, I, I will go back to play PvP, but for now, I'm enjoying playing PvE with my, with my friends because it's just, um, um, I don't have the time to put into this game, but when I can, they're here to help. So, uh, I really don't have much more to say except for I, I, I enjoy the PvE more than I do the PvP. And I'll put it back to you, AG. Thanks, guys, for helping me out with the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one.